So how do you use digital stickers? Maybe you have already created your stickers in Canva or any other um, software that you use, but you don't know exactly how to use the digital stickers on an app like GoodNotes or NoteShelf or whatever app it is that you use. And let alone how does your customer <laughs> use it on their end. So that's what I'm gonna show you in this video. Maybe you have purchased my own product, my own um, Canva planner templates that come with this set of sticker sheets that you can um, edit and customize to fit your branding or whatever it is that you're trying to, to do. And you just don't know how your customer uses it, right? I've received a lot of questions like that. So this is what this video is about. Um, basically what we're trying to do is to get all of these stickers isolated into its own um, file and then export as a PNG so we can either provide those PNGs to our customer or we can create a sticker book. Having said that, this video is very, very basic and it's especially good for those of you who want to sell planner stickers, but you don't know exactly how these things work or what it looks like, right? So let's get started. So the first thing we need is the stickers already designed. So I'm going to start with this and I'm just going to show you with this particular um, sticker sheet. So the first thing I'm going to do is I want to create, um, where is it? Create a new design right here. Custom dimensions and let's say, um, let's do inches. And uh, okay, yeah, let's do inches. So I want it to be probably four by four, four by four inches, create new design. I'm going to give it a name. I'm going to put master sticker PNG four by four, just so I remember what it is. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go back here and I'm going to start copy and pasting each one of these stickers. So first of all, I'm going to drag this and select all of it. I want to make sure that nothing is, there we go. Okay. Okay, so I'm going to select this whole thing and I'm going to Command C or Control C if you are on a PC and then Command V or Control V again if you are on a PC. And I'm going to start pulling the stickers just to make it about the same size of my um, canvas right here, make it as centralized as possible. And that looks great. So we're going to add another page. I'm going to go here. Let's say I want to grab this one right here. So again, Command C or Control C. I'm going back here, Control V. And I'm going to make it as big as possible. Awesome add another page. And what we're trying to do is because we're going to use these as digital stickers, we want to create one canvas for each sticker. And I'm going to show you why this is important as soon as we're done. It'll all make sense, I promise. So I'm trying to make this in the center. And you would do this for every single sticker that you would want to include in your you know sticker packet, sticker sheet, whatever it is that you're trying to do. So I'm going to do it probably, let's do like two more, just to have a few to play around with. Let's grab this washi. And for the washi, I would probably not use, like I would create a different um, canvas size because this is gonna have a lot of space. See, I like top and bottom is gonna have a lot of space. So I would probably create a different size. And let's grab one of these, copy, 
can put it here, paste. I'm only going to do six, but you would do as many as you need. Like if you're doing the whole sheet, this whole sheet, selling it as digital stickers, you would have to do that for each one of those. Um, at this point, I'm going to stop. And this is what I have so far. I have six, which is what I'm going to show you now. So the next step would be to download. And I'm going to put the size all the way up three. Make sure it is a PNG. Make sure we have a transparent background. And we're going to select all six pages. And I'm going to download. Awesome. Here it is. I'm going to open it. And here are my stickers. So let me open this one, for example. And when I open it, I'm going to notice that it is it no longer has that white background because we put a transparent background so we now see that it doesn't have a background here okay so what i'm going to do at this point is i'm going to make this a little bit smaller okay so i'm going to find my planner and i'm using good notes let me make this a little bit smaller. Okay, you can see it now. I'm using GoodNotes on my desktop. I have a Mac and GoodNotes has an app for desktop that looks exactly the same as the one on your iPad. And I'm only saying that because I want you to keep in mind that even if you're doing this on an iPad or a tablet, it would look pretty much the same because the interface of the app looks pretty much the same. So from here on, you have a few options on how to use these um, stickers. And in this case, I'm going to open that folder where my stickers are right here. And I'm going to put it side to side. And I believe I can just, just drag and drop. See, just like this, and I'm able to move it. I can grab this little corner right here, make it smaller because obviously it's a little bit too big. So let's say I wanted to put it right here. I can do that. I let go, and now it's um, stuck there, <laughs> like a like a sticker, right? It's right there. And let's say I want this little flag right here. I would just drag and drop. And mind you, you you can drag and drop. Um, I can do it on my iPad as well. So I can totally drag and drop and let's say, I don't know, maybe I just want this to be right here. I pull it a little bit and I could put it here or let's say I just want to put it right here as well. Let's say I want some of these little um, drops. I can make it smaller. I can rotate and I can make it, uh-oh, uh-oh, there we go. Just like this, okay. And I can make it as small as I want to make it fit wherever I want it. And that is how. Before we move on, this particular technique will work if you are providing your customer with PNGs so they can um, download those PNGs to their tablet or their computer and they can go ahead and drag and drop. They can create kind of like a like exactly what I'm doing, like a side by side screen and start um, dragging um, their stickers over here. Another thing they could do, especially on a tablet or an iPad is open their photo um, app and they could save their PNGs on their photo app, which is what I'm doing right now. I just dragged and dropped. So here from my photo app, I could do the same, but I don't need, um, especially here on GoodNotes, I do not need to have a double screen. So I would just close that and make this probably a little bit bigger. And as you can see here at the top, here at the top, the stickers that I just uploaded to my photos are starting to populate. And because I am right now on the image um, function, if I, if I'm on something else, it's not going to populate. But if I go to my image function, um, it'll be on here. So I can easily just click on one of them and it'll bring it in. Now this one, how do I crop? There we go. I just um, right clicked and I am cropping because this is 
that washi that we were talking about. So now I cropped the, this image. I can make it smaller and I can put this washi wherever I want. Say I want it like at the very top of the page, just like that. And I could keep, you know, copy pasting and adding that washi to cover um, this page right here. So that is another way they can save it to their photo album and then add it within the same app right here. Um, I'm still on the same app and do that. Now, another way is that you could create a sticker book. And what that looks like, let me show you something. So this right here is a sticker book that I designed probably three years ago. It's been a quite a while. And all it was meant to be, if we go to the first page right here, was exactly that, was a sticker book. And I, I was planning on making these right here um, clickable, like hyperlinked. So when you click, for example, here where it says dividers, when you click on the dividers, it will take you to all of the dividers. If you click on circles, it'll take to all the circles. So I, this is something that I had started working on. So when I say like a digital sticker book, this is what I mean. It doesn't have to be this complicated. <laughs> this is just me trying to be extra. So it doesn't have to be this complicated but you could create a very simple digital sticker book and I'm gonna show you kind of what that looks like. And uh, let's go to the next one. L let's use this Use this one, it says calendar boxes, but um, it could be um, anything. It could be just, just a blank page. And the way you would use a digital sticker book that you can use on an app like GoodNotes is I'm going to open that folder, downloads right here, okay. So this folder that I have right here with the stickers that I just downloaded is I would just just kind of do the same. Remember here on the left, I'm working on good notes. So I would just drag the stickers onto good notes. I would resize, I'm pulling from here. I would resize to whatever size I want. And I would start placing the stickers to try to replicate the look of a sticker book and just like that and i can do that with all six and you know i would just start placing it in a way that it would look cute and you know it could be whatever you want so let's say i would leave some space and it kind of looks like a sticker book that you would purchase like on Etsy or something like that, um, that would be printable. But in this case, this one is digital. And I'm going to show you, this would be our washi, um, my washi, let me, let me crop it. Again, I'm just right clicking. If you're on your iPad, you would, just click on the washi and select crop. So there we go. And let's put this washi over here. And then I would just keep adding stickers here to create um, the look of a sticker sheet right here. So let's say I'm done, right? This is my sticker sheet. This is what I'm selling. And I would create these inside of GoodNotes. Now, the next step would be to export this as a GoodNotes file. But before I do that, let me show you how this works. So your customer, once they import their GoodNotes file, what they can do is copy paste these stickers. And the way they do that is like this. You need the lasso tool and it's this one right here. That is the lasso tool. So selecting that lasso tool, um, you're going to draw a circle on top of the sticker that you want. Click on the center and then you would copy. See right here where it says copy? You copy, awesome. And now I would right click and paste. And there it is. I have that sticker. Let me delete it because I want to go back. Remember, I copied this one. So I want to go back to my actual planner right here. And then I would just copy here, right click paste and they would paste the sticker here which again they can 
um, resize and do whatever they want, place it wherever they would want. And when you go back to the sticker book, which is right here, it's still there because you just copied that sticker. So that's what your customer would do. They would just copy the sticker from the sticker book and use it on their um, planner. So the way you would give this file, this sticker book to your customer is you need to export as a GoodNotes file. And I know in the iPad, there's someone on, on the left, if there's one of these little dots um, and it will give you the option to export. I'm on my desktop. So in this case, I'm just right clicking on like up here. Um, you would click up here in, in the first, I'm just clicking on, on the first um, page. Then you would click export. See how it gives you the option to export. And the important thing is that you export as a good notes file. It will, it will ask you to export as a PDF, as an image or as, a, as good notes. And the thing is, if you export as a PDF or as an image from GoodNotes, it will be flattened, which means you cannot copy and paste those stickers. You want them to copy and paste those stickers because that's why you're selling it to them. So here where it says GoodNotes, that's what you would do. Export, I'm not gonna do it right now, but yeah, you would export as a GoodNotes file and then that file is what you would give to your customer. You will upload it to Etsy or you know Shopify, wherever it is that you are selling. And they're able now, to you know do this use the lasso tool and notice that the lasso tool you don't have to select the whole sticker like this you just select you know a small portion and then you're able to um do all of these things and that is it that is two options that you have to deliver your planner stickers to your customer and that is how they use them either as a png as individual pngs or as a digital sticker book and they can use it on their planner i hope this was helpful if you still have any questions let me know um, i will record other videos on how to design stickers but if you want to create your own planner stickers. Um, I'll leave a link in the description box where you can get more information about that. So I'll see you on the next one.